The basic modification profiles for the JPEG engine are called Picture Modes, and they are on Camera Menu, Page 2. Picture Modes give you a great deal of control over how your JPEGs are processed in the camera. These settings go a long way toward making RAW unnecessary. The four most useful settings are probably Eye Enhance, if you trust the camera to do the necessary for your images, Vivid, if you like the punched up look for your work, Natural, if you want to control more in post-processing, and Muted, if you want an image that is as close to RAW as possible while remaining a JPEG. In other words, if you plan to do a lot of your own work in post-processing. Then too, each of these picture modes can be adjusted for saturation, sharpness, and contrast using the controls along the left side of the setting page. If you like to tinker, it is possible to develop a setting that will do 90% of your post-processing right in the camera. You can even save those settings, based on one of the standard modes, to a custom mode of your own. For most birds and wildlife, I set picture mode to number one, Eye Enhance. This profile reads the sensor and compares the results with data sets stored in the JPEG engine to try to produce an image with the highest dynamic range, that's the best shadow and highlight details, and the most correct and natural colors. I also set gradation in the eye enhance profile, that's the bottom icon on the left, to shadow enhance, which applies a bit of program magic to further enhance the shadow highlight balance. I find that Eye Enhance does an excellent job under a wide variety of lighting situations, but you might also want to try the natural picture mode. If I had to contrast them, I would say that Eye Enhance works towards an image with the most impact, while Natural works towards an image that looks as close as possible to what your eye is seeing. If you use Natural, set Gradation to Auto. This whole picture mode function is a bit strange in that pressing the center button on the five-way control wheel while choosing the profile or setting radiation will boot you right back out of the menu system altogether without changing your settings. Highlight your picture mode choices by scrolling left and right with the five-way control wheel or use the front thumb wheel and then the up and down and left and right arrows on the five-way control to highlight choices on the left under picture mode including radiation, and then, when both choices are highlighted, use the Menu button to return to the main menu. Once more, do not use the center button on the five-way control wheel. I assume this is a programming issue and might be fixed in future firmware. Me? I just use Eye Enhance, with Shadow Enhance on. Always the easy way for me. On the same menu page, I use Auto White Balance as the OM-1 seems to do an excellent job with color temperature under a wide variety of lighting conditions. I prefer to set Keep Warm Color to On, so that when shooting in the golden hours, the hours before and after sunrise and sunset, the natural warm hue of the light is maintained. Those are the easy settings for the JPEG engine. Next, we'll examine the modifications to the autofocus systems that will lead to the most success with the OM-1 with birds and wildlife.